working with seafarers has, has, has often been sort of uh, part of my experience. Seafarers coming ashore uh, to, to take up careers in, in shipping and logistics. So the, the, focus, um, the, the focus on a, a career change, I would suggest, is very much more a, a business focus. When, when you're a seafarer, you're very operational. You're at the sharp end of the business, delivering the goods. Uh, but when you, when you start to work in the office, when you, you, you become more sort of embedded in the, the whole business of the, uh, running the, the operations right across sort of boundaries. So much, much, much more of a business than, than an operational focus, maybe, part of the training. Uh, thinking about the customers more and dealing with the customers more is maybe may part of the remit. When you're a seafarer, you don't always see the customer. The, si the systems, you know, the systems are different when you're working on shore compared to when you're working at sea, when you, you have a very sort of well-defined system when you're on board the ship. When you work on shore, you're dealing with many sort of different aspects of life, of logistics, working with people in different sort of areas, it, it, that can be quite a, a change of mindset is required, maybe. And maybe you're, you're, you're more operating as a team player. When you're a watchkeeper at sea, maybe you're on watch 12 to 4, you know, till midnight till 4 in the morning, uh, you're the king of the world, you, you're running the ship. When you're working in the, a business on shore, you're part of a team, maybe, you know, 100 people working in your office. So it, it does require different sort of training, different developments, different mindsets.